In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I passed my pharmacy technician exam. And I'm super excited for today's video because I really wanna go step by step in pure detail on everything I did to go in the testing room as confident as I can and pass my test. Just to give you a little background story about myself as a technician, for two years, I started off as a pharmacy technician trainee Worked behind the counter, got a lot of experience. I took my first attempt at the PTCB November 29th of this year. I ended up filling it my first time and I didn't study as much as I should have and I just went about a lot of things terribly wrong. And then this past Tuesday, which was December 27th of this year as well, I ended up passing and I was super excited because there's so many things that I did completely different that I'm literally itching to share today because I feel like you can pass it in just about a month like I did. And that also goes to show that not everybody passes it on their first time. And maybe you're someone like me that just needs to do different study habits or just get different sources that's really gonna help you pass. But I don't wanna make this a super long intro than it's already been. So let's go ahead and jump right into all the meat and potatoes and we're gonna get y'all to pass this test. So the very first thing that I'm gonna encourage you to do is go to your PTCB account and there's a section where the site breaks down the four domains that's gonna be on your exam. And those four domains are medications, federal requirements, patient and safety, and then order data entry and processing. And those specific sections are a literal breakdown and percentage of what will be on your test. Like for example, it'll say 40% medication or 20% of federal requirement knowledge that give you a huge breakdown that you can walk yourself through. Maybe you can see your weaknesses, your strong suits, what you need to study, and so on and so forth. And the only reason why I say do that and make sure you hit each checkbox is because one of the major things that um, I didn't have knowledge of was law and ruling regulation and things like that. And I knew that was a domain that I for sure needed to study on my second go round. So it really helped me pass my test when I seen what exactly these domains are gonna be talking about. The next thing that I would encourage is to get a breakdown of SIG codes and calculations. Um, I didn't actually download this myself or anything. I have a coworker that's also a certified pharmacy technician and she was nice enough to give these to me but they have plethora of sig code breakdowns online different google templates that other technicians make honestly if you google sig codes and calculations like there's so many um, images that come up to help you get those calculations and SIG codes memorized. And also I had an upper hand as a pharmacy technician trainee because I had so much experience with data entry and uh, typing the SIG codes and just kind of being familiar of a few things like that. The only things that I really needed to study and break down was obviously calculations because on the job in real life, the computer does it all for you, but on your test, you have to hand do that math. Another thing I would encourage is to go online and look up like route of administration. And there's also so many, I'm talking tons of YouTube videos to help you with the memory of route administration. And it's basically by mouth under the tongue, between the gums and cheeks, into the muscle, under the skin, um, on top of the skin, topical, into the nostril. Like there's so many breakdowns and sick codes and stuff like that and just shortcuts that you're gonna have to remember for the test. The next thing I'm about to put y'all onto is something that I researched for. I tried to listen to other people's opinions about all these PTCB info books and how formative it was and how some people still failed after making these purchases. And I was like, look, I need to pass my test the second go round. I need a book that's straight to the point. I don't need anything too big and overwhelming, you guys. And when I tell you, this is no type of sponsor, no no anything. This is like my raw opinion that really helps me out. It's called PTCB Hero. It's made from the Medical Hero like branch and like franchise. This was $15 on Amazon and this little paperback gets straight to the point, has so much informative information you guys and I will say this was the bulk of me passing my test and feeling as confident as possible. Literally, it's so quick. Like when I tell you this book is the holy grail to passing your test, in my opinion, like it's the holy grail. The domains that I mentioned to you guys a little bit ago, they literally break down each and every one, get you straight to the point, give you all the information you need. 
and I just love how non overwhelming it is because when you purchase some books they're like these hardback like huge thick books of so much information that you do not need I recommend getting this on Amazon super cheap super informative straight to the point and I'll be linking that down in the description box down below so it's really easy for you to find and get on that next I wanted to tell you that knowing your brand and generics is very important because they stick it into the exam in so many ways of not just asking you what is the generic name of Lipitor? You know what I'm saying? Like it's not just straight to the point like that, although a lot of questions are, but I'm mainly talking about a perspective of they'll add a certain drug in there and they'll say, hey, which of this is a duplication of blah 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 and you have to know the brand generics in and out in order to maneuver and get that question correctly a lot of people also like to say um know the top 200 uh brain and generics but honestly i don't know the top 200 brand and generics but this book also tells you about popular medications that you will see day to day and it breaks you down the brand and generics and columns and it does get to the point as well my best bet of how i studied um, and practice tests, real exams, all the things is I knew about a hundred or so brain engineering that really helped me. Another huge help that I did to pass my exam um, was to go on the PTCB website and if you don't have an account already go ahead and make that because within that site I was able to register for a practice exam and I've only taken the practice exam once and I've taken the real exam twice as I told you guys earlier in the video but I will say that practice exam is so alike to the real thing is where I encourage any and everyone to take a practice test if they haven't already it is a little upcharge it's $30 to add on the practice test but those $30 really do take you a long way just saying because when I tell you those questions and formats were so similar to the real thing I was like this is insane so what I did is I went through my practice exam I wrote down all the questions um, they don't give you the answers but that's when research and studying and all the things come in to make sure you got all your correct answers that you're studying and without that I don't think I would have passed um, the second go round or even would have been close on the first go round so um, that is something that you're gonna have to do to get yourself confident and familiar with the information and already have kind of an upper hand knowing some of the questions that they would ask on the regular exam. Another thing that helped me was going through all the information and writing it out at least three times each. I'm the type of person where I have to write out the information um, repeatedly in order for it to stick. And I also teach my class, right? I've talked about this in one of my study vlogs for regular college and courses and things like that. And it really does help. And teaching your class is just teaching aloud. And what I do is I kind of pace back and forth, saying all the information aloud, kind of like I'm teaching to an audience. And it really does like help it stick versus just memorizing the information because obviously a lot of the stuff you're going to be doing on the job. Also another portion um, of the practice test and the real test that I want to inform you about is knowing your drug classifications. Yes, I know um, you should know the brand name and the generic name, but if you don't know their classification and how they correspond, then you might get a couple questions wrong that you could have gotten to pass your exam. And the only reason why I'm so strongly about that is because I've seen so many questions on both real and practice that I would for sure tell the next person, hey, make sure you review your drug classifications. Is this a beta blocker? Like, is this a controlled substance? Is this a high alert drug? Like, there's so many that um, need to be gone through and practice before you go into your real exam. That way you feel confident going in like, okay, I know more than Lipitor, it's a Torvastat, you know what I mean? Like, it goes a long way and it'll help you out for sure. And touching a little bit more of the drug classifications, another thing that helped me is when I wrote out Zopam, Anxiety, Psyllin, Antibiotics, Lol, Beta Blockers, Profen, Non-Steroids, Anti-Inflammatory, things like that. Prozol is a protein pump inhibitor. Um, things like that really helped me out. Uh, the ending of each drug name really does say a lot for the drug classification and it really helps you remember what each thing is like antinolol and ibuprofen, amoxicillin. Every single day leading up to test day for the second go round, I just went through each domain and it's information. That's all I did. I literally took all my materials, my calculations and zip codes and 
all the things. I took my practice questions that I studied with and I took my book and literally each domain every single day. There's four. So I had all the information selected in my head, but I just had to, you know, paint out the picture and get all the information that I needed each day before taking the exam. Lastly, I'm going to encourage you to download this app. It's called PTCD Test and it's literally something daily that you could do just for the knowledge and to just run it across your mind and it literally gives you anything from billing and reimbursement information systems um, law and regulations medication safety actual beneficial things that you're going to see on your test and this is something that i would do maybe on my break at work maybe while i'm out um, i'm waiting I literally went to Starbucks, I waited on a coffee, and I ate there, and I literally just started doing my app. Maybe if I'm eating and chilling besides watching a YouTube video, I'll just go through my app if I don't want to whip out like my books and all my sources and literally just all the things. This app is so convenient, and I've used it not every day, but maybe every so days a week just to get me even more comfortable with all the material if I didn't have like my books and things with me and stuff like that. Another thing I love about PTCB test app is that they tell you why it is wrong and they reoccur the questions if you did get that wrong. So if I go through a question and they're like, if a patient has, um, I don't know, prednisone and dexamethasone prescribed at the same time, is this a duplication? The answer would be yes because they're both steroids, but say if you get it wrong, hey this is why blah 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 is wrong this is the correct answer you will see this question again i'll have it reoccur every so often as you're doing these little quizzes and things like that and it'll tell you hey this is how ready you are for the exam this is what you need to work on so the app is really amazing and it can really have you confident in the testing room and help you out on some days like i said maybe you don't have all your notes or something like that so just a small recap since that's pretty much everything that I did to successfully pass. Go ahead and go to your PTCB account. Go ahead and write down the information for all four domains. Make sure you practice and go through each of those. Go on Google, get you some sick codes and calculation forms and things like that to help you have the memorization down on those. Go ahead and buy the PTCB Hero Book. This paperback is $15. It'll be in the link down below. Go ahead and buy your practice test, y'all. Buy your practice test on your PTCB account. Go ahead and purchase it. It's an extra $30. Real life question, same format, same time span that you get to take your actual exam and everything. And lastly, go ahead and download the PTCB test app to help you just finalize all that information and just keep yourself current on what you've learned from all your notes and books and SIGs and all of that. And if you do all of those steps like I did, I really do believe in my heart that you are going to pass without a doubt if you put the work in because I doubted myself. I didn't get it the first time, but I got it the second time. And the last is coming in soon. So anyone can do it if I did it and I believe in you. So go ahead and take all the steps that you need, get confident with your material and go into that testing room and pass. Other than that, you guys, that was the end of today's video on how to pass the PTCB in less than a month. Again, I'm always here for any questions that you may have and I plan on doing a pharmacy technician Q&A because there's so many questions from my day in the life of a pharmacy technician that I've been trying to answer slowly but surely, but there's become a big amount of you guys just curious about the field and I'm happy to answer. So let me know if you have any questions down below or in another video and I'll be sure to put that in the Q&A to give y'all as much information as I can. But other than that, um, good luck on your test or your process or wherever you are in the pharmacy tech field. You're gonna do great, I know it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Kenny Nova is out.